Are the Lakers about to make the boldest move of the offseason? Rumors are swirling about a potential blockbuster trade that could reshape the roster and reignite their championship hopes. With critical needs for depth and playmaking, fans are left wondering if a former star could be making a triumphant return to Los Angeles. Stay tuned, because you won't want to miss the details on this thrilling development. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button to keep up with all the latest on our beloved Lakers. The Los Angeles Lakers are making waves in the NBA sphere with a hypothetical blockbuster trade that could fundamentally reshape their roster for the upcoming 2024-25 season. As we all know, last year ended in disappointment with a first-round exit, and now, the pressure is on to bolster our squad. The recent trade proposal suggests that the Lakers could bring back Kyle Kuzma and add Malcolm Brogdon, while sending D'Angelo Russell, Rue Hakimura, and Marvin Bagley III to the Nets, and Ben Simmons along with Jared Vanderbilt to the Wizards. Let's break this down. First off, the return of Kyle Kuzma is not just a nostalgic move, it's a strategic one. Kuzma averaged 22.2 points, 6.6 .6 rebounds, and 4.2 assists last season for the Wizards, showcasing his scoring ability and versatility. Imagine Kuzma back in the purple and gold, playing alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. His ability to stretch the floor and defend multiple positions is exactly what we need to elevate our game. I mean, come on, he knows the system and has experience winning with us. It just feels right, doesn't it? Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. He's a guy who can facilitate the offense and provide reliable scoring. Yes, he's had some injury woes in the past, but when healthy, he's a game changer. Last season, he averaged 14.9 points and 4.2 assists, and his experience could take some of the playmaking pressure off LeBron, allowing him to preserve his energy for scoring and defense. Adding a player with Brogdon's skill set could be just what we need to make a serious playoff push. You have to wonder, could this duo reignite our championship aspirations? Now, let's pivot to what the Nets and Wizards would gain. For the Nets, they would receive D'Angelo Russell, a familiar face who can bring leadership to their backcourt, along with Rue Hakimura and Marvin Bagley III. This combination injects youth and potential into their roster. And let's not forget that clearing out Ben Simmons' massive contract is a huge win for them in terms of cap space. And for the Wizards? They're fully committed to their rebuild. By acquiring Ben Simmons and Jared Vanderbilt, alongside future draft picks, they're positioning themselves to develop young talent. Simmons has potential. He's still young and can be a defensive anchor if he can find his rhythm again. This trade could give the Wizards the fresh start they desperately need. So, where does this leave the Lakers? Well, adding Kuzma and Brogdon could be a total game-changer. We've seen how depth plays a crucial role in the playoffs, and last season's lack of consistent support behind LeBron and AD was painfully evident. With Kuzma's scoring and defensive capabilities and Brogdon's reliability as a guard, we could finally have the balance we've been missing. But here's the kicker. Are these moves enough to put us back in the title conversation? I'm honestly torn. While I love the idea of bringing back Kuzma, he's one of our own, it does raise questions about our ability to contend with the likes of the Nuggets and Suns. Are we doing enough? I want to hear from you. What do you think? Is this direction the right one for the Lakers? The emotions are running high, and as a passionate fan, I crave that championship feeling again. The moves we make now could define our future, and the pressure is on. I genuinely believe that if we can pull off this trade, it could lead to a significant turnaround for our squad. So. Let's keep this conversation going. What are your expectations for the Lakers this season? What frustrations are you feeling with the current roster? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates on our beloved Lakers. Hit that notification bell to stay in the loop because you won't want to miss a thing.